Hi, this is Eric with the Beauty Body Makeover Workout of the Week and Tip of the Week. Um, I know a lot of people in this group, we got we have some knee issues, we have some joint issues in the lower body, so running is not a great option maybe for some of you, but the great news is you can still work your cardiovascular system without a lot of impact, and one of the ways we do that is loaded carries. Now, there's two things you have around the house that could be really effective for that, um, and, and really you can just kind of gear this workout to where you're at, um, with or without elevation, we're going to talk about um, if you're just a beginner starting out, you probably won't need a lot of elevation, but you got a couple options. You've got some weights. And if you don't have real heavy weights, if you have some buckets that you can put some rocks in, something like that, just, you know, maybe 25 to 35 pounds is all you're going to really need, probably at this point. We do something called farmer's carries. And what we do is we just take and, when you do a farmer's carry, we don't want to just carry it like this. We want to work on carrying heavy objects. We want to grip it tight. Roll your shoulders back, straighten your arms, your triceps contract, your upper back contracts, so you're in a nice military posture. I always tell people it's kind of like, imagine like you're one of the people in National Geographic that's, you know, walking the, 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 the base of water down from the river on your head. You know, imagine you're balancing something on your head to so that perfect posture, and you can either, you can pick a distance. I usually like to map out 25 to 50 yards and walk, kind of like I'm doing almost a sobriety walk here. I'm not running with it. I might, if I don't have a lot of area, I can go 25 yards down and back. Something that's going to challenge you, set the weight down, recover for a minute, and you're going to do it again. You're going to do some loaded carries. If that's too easy for you, the other thing you can add in is, is to do some incline. So you don't need a big hill. we got a little hill out back here, but it's just the same thing. All I do is add a, when I'm going down, I just need to be careful the grass isn't wet. Um, I can also use a staircase. I don't want to just come down nice and slow, shoulders back. Everything's tight. I feel like quads. I'm going to be going down. And I can be a little more aggressive coming up. Going up and down the hill. I would work for a minute to two minutes, working hard. Get yourself huffing and puffing a little bit. The reason you want to get yourself huffing and puffing is because that means you're driving your, your uh, heart rate up above anaerobic threshold. And that's where we start to see that metabolic effect, meaning that after you're done working out, your metabolism is going to be cranked up 24-7 more, more so than if you were just doing kind of a light walk outside. So you can do some loaded carries. Um, I put the format below with the warm-up and cool-down. The other thing is if you don't have weights, uh, a few years ago I found this out. I was sitting home. I had a, I had a little girl that was a baby that had to sleep. And I wanted to get some exercise in, and I was just decided, and I remember back to when we were landscaping, how the wheelbarrow can be an effective tool. So once again, you can use the same things. I can just find some things around the house and load them into the wheelbarrow. And when I pick the wheelbarrow up, I'm going to pick it up with my legs, roll my shoulders back, and I can move the wheelbarrow, put some weight in there so I have to work a little bit, I have to lean forward. When I lean forward, though, I don't want to round my back. And I can take the wheelbarrow 50 yards, you know, for a couple minutes working 50 yards at a time. Or if you got a bigger yard, you can go longer for about a minute to two minutes. This doesn't have to be right on. Just get to the point where you're hopping and puffing, where you're just, you, you need to take a break. Rest for a minute. You can power walk. You can just move around and then just keep going. Um, the other thing, the same thing, you got to add, you can add an incline. Once again, it's just got to be careful going down, going down here. Rolled my shoulders back. Driving that wheelbarrow, if you got a little hill in your in your in your lawn, can be a real effective tool. You'll feel your core engage, your hips, your whole body is basically working hard. You're going to feel a lot. Feel like you can almost feel the calories burning. So you can use either a farmer's walks, b wheelbarrows. Do some loaded carrying. It's great for your nervous system. It's great for your whole body. Burns a lot of calories. It also teaches your body a skill how to move things. I mean, how often do we have to? move heavy things around when we're doing landscaping, we're doing chores around the house. Now you don't have to get your husband to do it all the time. You're getting better at it. Nothing like feeling strong. I know a lot of women love to feel strong. So this week's workout tip is try some loaded carries this week. Adjust to wherever you're at. 
if it's on a flat surface with some dumbbells, you can use some paint cans, whatever, or if you want to add an incline, you're more than welcome to. You're more than welcome to come into our place and use our stuff if you want, but I put the format below. So loaded carries with recovery, that's our, our tip for the week, enjoy. Remember we have, tomorrow night we have a grocery tour, and then this uh, Thursday night we're doing another bonus workout uh, with Chris here at the studio at 7 o'clock. So keep up the good work, ladies, and we'll see you later.